with Tom Pecora, head coach of the fifth seed, the Hofstra Pride, getting ready to take on the UNCW Seahawks in the first round of the CAA tournament. Coach, you just played them last week. Mm -hmm. Does that matter, or is it you know, you know, a familiarity thing? Yeah, I don't think it matters much. I think, you know, if uh, as coaches, we just prepare every every game the same exact way. You know, it doesn't really depend on your opponent. There's a routine that we go through and, and uh, tradition, so to speak. So I think when you have a real good club, they just get locked in. <clears throat> Excuse me, they get locked in on the scouting report, and they don't get caught up in what names on the jersey. You know, just this is what we need to do today to win. I'm hoping that we're a good basketball team. We can do that again. Now, I imagine you're going to want it at a slower pace, and Benny's going to want to rev it up and get a high possession game. What, what are the keys to you keeping that pace down? Getting stops. You know, I think, uh, you know, when they score the basketball, they just feed off that energy, and, uh, you know, they're going to play small, get a lot of threes up, and we really got to contain them and make it more of a half court, little hand to hand combat, northeastern basketball, <laughs> uh, not this southern basketball, you know? All right, now, you can't use the words Charles Jenkins, but what are the keys for you guys to win? I think it's getting back to playing the way we played uh, the majority of the season. We played a game with James Madison at home about two weeks ago, and uh, we scored 99 points and won. And I think we thought all of a sudden, oh, listen, this is what we are now. We're just going to score points and beat people. And that's not how we're built. We're not built for that kind of, of uh, that style of basketball. We've got to get back to, you know, a hands on the ball, get every loose ball, every 50-50 rebound. Uh, Half-court basketball scores in the 60s, maybe the 70s. But if we start thinking we're going to outscore people, we're going to be on a bus later today. All right, last question. We'll let you go. The four games in four days, do, do you deal with that at all with the kids, or is it just kind of it is what it is? It's Wilmington today. It's whoever it is tomorrow. Yeah, I don't even bring it up. I mean, as a coach, if I get an opportunity, God willing, if we have a game where we have a pretty good lead, I might be able to go to the bench and, and get the rest for some of our primary players. But... You know, these guys are physical specimens. Are, they're in great shape. Uh, our, our strength conditioning people work with them throughout the year. So I, I think they're up for the task. The bottom line is, uh, you know, doing the things you need to do on the basketball court in the, cor in the course of that. Uh, I don't think fatigue will be an issue, but I'd like to find out and be here Monday night. All right, last question. Who's a better dresser, you or Bruiser? Oh, uh, you know what's interesting? Bruiser probably spends more money on shoes than I do. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm a green person, so I would never wear skins. <laughs> I got you. Thanks, Coach. We appreciate it. Good You're luck today. Very well.